can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave truth through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner waves o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave you may be seated for a minute Welcome to this special recognition and ceremony honoring Corporal Chester Nez. I am Fred Rodriguez, Vice Provost for the Office of Diversity and Equity here at KU. <clears throat> Please join me in thanking the KU Naval ROTC for the, and the Color Guard for the presentation of the colors. <clears throat> Also, please recognize Michael Austin, graduate student in the School of Music for the singing of the, uh, our national anthem. Thank you, Michael. <clears throat> At this time, I would like to introduce Elliot Bryant, a graduate of Haskell Indian Nations University, who will provide the Navajo ceremonial prayer. Would you all please stand? Hello, <clears throat> I'll say a prayer. Um, what do you mean? Okay. Everybody bow your head. <clears throat> I'll say a prayer, and I'll do some English only, but mostly will be in Navajo. Ni tatan li ni shi de hen farin ho na sa ta si tli ho ni Chester Nance ni ni che do ni han na spa, but ye go ba ke ta ni zem. Do this jide ho ke ya sa anige na so bitsi sa a on khon lot to day na in state from america in kha courage no you be ho tan khati ya do kate this jide ek ade ol thai yo i la ge in no e pa do zin a do e na so ge a ni tso bit a jo bin na ge go e Yega Pitzi, Constitution. Now let's go eat. But I said, Zidolet, we represent all the people. Adonle, Danzago, Tonango, people that had never came home again. But when look to this day, Ado Dig, a veteran, Dan Lenle, Danzago, and Khan Dag, be with them at this time. They are out there. Um, that freedoms that whole we enjoy here. But when lo, when I just eat, we start to take care of our language with purity. That do aza yati go, we don't go eat, we start, we sit down, we take a nap, we just eat. This day that I recognize that. May we all stand together and make our hearts pure, but use our words with beautiful words only and with appreciation. We say this in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Elliot. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce Dr. Sarah Rosen, Senior Vice Provost for Academic Affairs and professor in the Department of Linguistics who will provide the formal welcome 
on behalf of KU. Good morning. It is my great pleasure to welcome you and you, Mr. Nez, to the University of Kansas. This morning is one of those unique opportunities that illustrates KU's role not just as a higher education institution, but also its role in fulfilling our state's motto, to reach for the stars no matter the difficulties. KU's mission is to lift students by, uh, and society by educating future leaders, building healthy communities, and making discoveries that change the world. <clears throat> that mission is more than an aspiration for our faculty and our current students. It's often a reflection of our alumni. And in the case of Mr. Chester Nez, it is a reflection and a recognition of all he had done before he ever stepped foot on Jayhawk Boulevard. You see, by the time Mr. Nez began classes at KU, he had already been a leader. He had already built stronger communities. And as a professor of linguistics, as one who has known about Chester Nez's accomplishments without ever having met him or known him by name, I can tell you in a very personal sense that Chester Nez and his fellow members of the All Navajo 382nd Marine Platoon made a discovery that changed our world. The Navajo Code Talkers, as they were called, developed a military code that has for decades now been a legend that linguists have read about and have been in awe of. It is mentioned in many linguistics courses across the country and is a part of many linguistics textbooks. As a linguist who has studied the structure of multiple Native American languages and who has dedicated my own life to linguistics research and linguistics teaching, I'm thrilled to have the chance to thank you personally for your part in making a discovery that changed the world. And in my role as Senior Vice Provost for Academic Affairs, it is my duty to oversee KU's degree requirements. I can tell you that it is a great honor for me to recognize your great discovery by affirming your extraordinary circumstances today, 60 years after you were forced to abandon your studies at KU, we are thrilled to provide you with your bachelor's degree from the University of Kansas. And as I'm told, your grandson said, today is graduation day. <laughs> Thank you, President. Here. I'm so happy about it, and I'm glad to get my sheep skin. <laughs> and now, uh, with no further ado, I also have the great pleasure of welcoming a very special guest this morning. Actually, welcoming, welcoming, welcoming her also back to her alma mater. First, the First Lady of Kansas, Mary Brand Brownback, holds two degrees from KU, a Bachelor of Science in Business and a Law Degree. I understand that the KU Law School is also where she met her husband, the Governor Sam Brownback. So, Mrs. Brownback. I am here today also to offer my congratulations to Chester on receiving his diploma 60 years after he originally left Lawrence. We are happy to have you back in Kansas. I first met Chester and his co-author Judy when they appeared at the Kansas Book Festival for Chester to talk about his book, The Code Talker. The crowd was tremendous and they wanted to listen to him and honor him for serving our country. And the Kansas Book Festival was indeed honored that he chose to attend our event. 
On this Veterans Day, we are also honoring him and millions of others who have fought for our freedom here. And for that, we are eternally grateful. And again, congratulations on receiving your degree from the University of Kansas. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Stephen Peru, Executive Assistant to the President of Haskell Indian Nations University. Mr. Nez, on behalf of our President, Mr. Chris Redman at Haskell Indian Nations University, the students, faculty, and staff, we wish to express our gratitude today by presenting this gift, this gift of a cedar box, which was created by your comrades in arms in, from the U.S. Marine Corps and, and faculty or staff at Haskell, Mr. Eli Jackson and Mr. Alan Redbird. Today, we acknowledge your service and the service of your comrades in arms, the code talkers to a grateful nation for your service those many long years ago. Your contribution to that effort to this nation saved lives and furthered the cause of freedom and liberty. And so we today with this gift honor you, sir. Also today, I'd like to take the opportunity on behalf of the KU First Nation Students Association to offer you, Mr. Nez, a gift from them. My pleasure to welcome Bob Shum, the mayor of the city of Lawrence. It's uh, great to be here today. I, I tell you, it doesn't get any better than this when uh, I get asked to make presentations and uh, talk to groups. Um, this gentleman is unbelievable. Corporal Chester Niz was. Uh, instrumental in helping us win the Second World War. Um, it's my pleasure to honor you and to thank you for your service. And it's a very fitting day, being that this is the day we're celebrating, a Veterans Day. Not only do we honor Chester, but we honor all the military and all the veterans that have ever served for our great country and kept us free. But today, I get to uh, hand Chester a key to our city and I'll read that to you. It says, presented to Chester Nez on behalf of the city of Lawrence, Kansas, in appreciation of your service to our country. And I signed it, Mayor Robert J. Shum, November 12, 2012. So I want to present that to Chester. And as I tell him, I tell all these people I give a key to, there's one obligation that goes with this. They must promise to return often and enjoy the city of Lawrence. So. <laughs> We were actually having dinner last evening, if I can just get off script for a minute. Uh, we did tell Chester he was going to receive the keys to the city. He said, well, if I could stay another day, I'll see what I can get, get covered here. So, <laughs> <laughs> a great sense of humor he has. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce Kevin Corbett, uh, president of the KU Alumni Association. Well, it's an absolute distinct pleasure uh, to be here today. In fact, I was so excited about this, I called my brother, who lives in California, and he just recently retired as a captain in the U.S. Marines. And I was telling him about my role in the ceremony, and he said, let me get this straight. Every time I talk to you, you're either rubbing elbows with Bill Self, 
Saturday Night Live comedians, and now you're telling me you're, you're rubbing elbows with the last of the Navajo code talkers? I said, that's true. And he said, I can't believe they pay you to do that. So, um, Chester, the Jayhawk Nation, like the Navajo Nation, is a very proud nation. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Jayhawk Nation. And our gift to you is your class ring. Welcome. It's my pleasure to introduce Matthew Gillespie, Professor of Speech and Language Hearing, and also our current president of the Native Faculty and Staff Council here at KU. As you just said, uh, I am representing the Department of Speech, Language, Hearing, Sciences, and Disorders, a department that understands and values culture, language, and communication. Culture, language, and communication, three words that embody the spirit of the Navajo Code Talkers. The legacy of the Navajo, Co Navajo Code Talkers is widespread, allowing thousands of men to survive war and return home safely, including both of my grandfathers who fought in the Pacific campaign of World War II. I am a member of the Muscogee Creek Nation and here today representing the Native Faculty and Staff Council at the University of Kansas. On behalf of the Native Faculty and Staff Council is my great honor to present you Corporal Chester Nez with this Pendleton blanket. This particular Pendleton is called Grateful Nation. The Native Faculty and Staff Council thought you probably had several Pendletons, blankets from ceremonies such as this, but we made this one unique. This one has a special embroidered message. It says, Chester Nez, C apostrophe 12, which indicates you are in the University of Kansas, College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, class of 2012. It also reads, in honor of your service to a grateful nation, Rock Chalk Jayhawk. <laughs> I'd like to now introduce Mary Ann Jordan, Chair, Department of Visual Art. We'll be joined by Bran Superna. We'll join her as well. Great pleasure that I introduce Bran Superna. Um, Bran is a senior uh, uh, in the Department of Visual Art who will receive his BFA degree uh, this semester, at the end of this semester, and I asked him to come to help present uh, a Pendleton blanket to uh, Mr. Nez. Congratulations, Mr. Nez. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, my honor, my privilege to do this. I'm honored to do this, and I'm also a graduate of uh, Haskell Indian Nation University. To present the Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, I'm pleased to introduce Danny Anderson, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. It's a privilege to be here, and one of the things that we always do in important graduation ceremonies is welcome our special guests. 
Uh, there are some individuals who have traveled far to be here today, and I'd like to ask them to uh, please raise their hand to be recognized. Uh, Michael Nez, the son of Mr. Nez from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, Rita Nez, daughter-in-law, Michael's wife, also from Albuquerque. Uh, Michael S. Nez, grandson from Albuquerque. Latham O. Nez, grandson, Tijeras, New Mexico. <clears throat> Raylinda Nez, granddaughter, Albuquerque, New Mexico. <clears throat> Rochelle Nez, granddaughter, Albuquerque, New Mexico. <clears throat> Raquel Nez, granddaughter, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Shania Whitfield, granddaughter, Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> Justin Whitfield, Shania's husband, Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> Emery Whitfield, great-grandson, Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> and also Judith S. Avila, friend and writer, Tijeras, New Mexico. We thank all of you for being here to help us honor Mr. Nez on this day. One of our commitments as a university is to engage more deeply with our past students and our alumni. At its most basic level, the awarding of a degree is a recognition of a successful course of study. In this case, Mr. Nez, the awarding of your Bachelor of Fine Arts degree carries a great deal more symbolism. The awarding of Mr. Nez's degree reflects our aspirations for our graduates to change the world. His story as a Navajo code talker certainly made a significant impact in the outcome of the Second World War. This award also exemplifies how the talents and the knowledge embodied in diverse ethnic and cultural identities like Mr. Nez's fluency in Navajo are necessary for our collective prosperity. Without such knowledge and ability, the history we know today could have been significantly altered. Mr. Nez, your contributions are remarkable. As a member of a generation that made great sacrifices to the United States during World War II, and as a member of an underrepresented minority for which we seek greater inclusion, Mr. Nez, you represent the diversity of heritage that makes KU a great place to be. Our university is proud to call you a Jayhawk alumnus and a graduate. We seek to encourage students of diverse backgrounds to pursue a university education. It is unfortunate that KU was unable to help Mr. Nez complete his degree 60 years ago. We have a new approach to scholarship support now that will enable us to help students with financial challenges to complete their degrees. I am proud, however, that our university has taken steps to confer to Mr. Nez the degree he devoted himself to completing all of those years ago. It is a privilege to recognize you for your dedication to your country and to your pursuit of education. Your story will no doubt inspire others to pursue higher learning amid challenging circumstances. It is a thrill and a pleasure to have you with us today and a true honor to present you with your KU degree. Congratulations and thank you for your service and contributions.
will you say a few words? Let me hold this uh, for you. Uh, Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'd like to say that it's a great pleasure for me to come back to the University of Kansas. I'm very happy and very glad to receive the message and other things. I am so happy to be here, and I want to thank everybody that's here, and I thank you again. Thank you all. I also want to take a moment to thank all those presenters and special guests that we've had here to recognize Corporal Chester Nez as well. Um, as we conclude this special recognition ceremony, I want to let you know that we're going to escort the family out first and have their photo, but I now change my script because I know they've had their photo taken. So <laughs> we've done that already. Um, what we will do is, though, if I know there's a lot of people that have traveled a long distance uh, to be here with us, and it's been a special honor and privilege to even be a host of this. But if you would like a photo with Chester Nez or congratulate Chester as you leave, we will have Chester out in the lobby, and you're welcome to take a photo. Uh, congratulate him uh, as, you, as you please. Uh, so uh, with that, I believe we are adjourned. And so again, Chester. Not that you ever left us, but welcome back to Jayhawk country. <laughs>
Thank you. 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 Thank you.